Welcome back. We're almost there. In this next video, we're going to go ahead and create a draft document and show the various mounting stages we just defined. To do this, I'm just going to go ahead and right click on our exploded view here and choose draft. Like this, Top Solid will launch into the drafting environment, ask us to choose a template, and let's say for this tutorial, let's choose the part, um, let's go do part ANSI B landscape here. Perfect. Let me go ahead and validate. Now, first thing it wants to know, what are we showing? Well, as it turns out, I don't want to just show the exploded. I want to show the mounting stages starting at step one. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and locate this once. From here, what I want to do is change my camera to be exploded. If you remember in the previous video, I showed you how to create a custom camera view. Awesome. Next, I'm going to change my scale to be absolute. One to one works for me for what we're going to do because we're going to put a lot on this one document just for this tutorial's sake. Uh, from there, I'm going to zoom up a little bit because I've decided I want to override the standard settings and I want to shade this and have hidden lines. So it's nice and simple. Great. Now I'm going to validate and notice step two shows up and then step three shows up and then step four. And every time I click my mouse, I get the next step in our assembly think about how cool that is. So here we have quickly created all the stages we needed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my bill of material. So let's go ahead and take the bill of material that's included with the sample data. We'll drag and drop it in here and I'll pop it right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off text in real size so it's just showing like that. Finally I'm going to go ahead and add the exploded view again. This time I'm going to drag it from here like so. I just want the exploded view. Perfect. I do want it to be based on the same camera angle as before, so I'm going to choose exploded. Now here you can see our guy's kind of big. Let's go ahead and set him back to absolute as well. And you know what, maybe for this, maybe two to one will work. I think it should. Let's put it maybe right there. We'll go ahead, set him to shaded and hidden lines also. And finally, We'll go ahead to the detailing tab and add the automatic indexes. Why not? Like this, you can see that everything is now got all the information on it that it's needed. And we've done this with relative ease and speed.